What is the name? Hi. Last name is Thomas and the first name is Derek. Thomas. Oh yeah, there it is. First one. Take this photo. Thank you. Uh, two, two, please. Do you have a player's card with us? Yeah. It's All You Can Vegas, hey everybody, it's Derek and Catherine, and we are here at the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars Palace. Here's some fresh crab legs, steamed crab legs, fresh barbecued oysters, baby octopus, and there's Wilkes. There's Wilkes. Cajun Post Brawn. Oh, these are huge. Look at this. Dispensers of clarified butter. Get some of that. Nope. Okay. Perfect. All right. I got my plate. Oh, here comes Catherine with her plate. Hello. Let's see what you've got there. Plates. Plates. Plural. Yes. I got some of the barbecued oysters. The cedar plank salmon. We have some steamed crab legs. And I get some clarified butter with that. Over here is the turmeric octopus, a little lemon wedge. These were the Cajun poached prawns. They didn't have these before. I know, that's why I got them. I know. And I'm not even a yeah. huge fan yeah. of shellfish, but I mean, these are hard to resist. Yeah. They're gigantic. I think maybe these might make me a fan maybe. of shellfish. All right, let's see if I can get into these, because there is a bit involved here where you open them up. Right, and there's some legs. <laughs> Gotta remove those and get that that sweet meat. These are Cajun spice prawns. Yes. Oh, yeah. So it's probably like a Cajun spice seasoning. All right. <laughs> Let's try this first one right here. That was really meaty. It's like there's a lot of like nice thick meat. Now I'm just like want to open these as fast as I can. Oh, okay. Jeez, you. And I also want to put them, of course, in this drawn butter. Ah, oh, that's a big nice piece right there. Nice. Let's try that with this butter. Oh. <laughs> Very buttery. I almost like it better without, because it's already got uh, plenty of the seasoning on it. Hi. You're digging into these. These are great. I've never seen you do that before, I know. Ever. I'm no normally not so into uh, this type of shellfish, yeah. but usually it isn't worth the trouble, like with crab legs. Right. But these are big. These have got like lots of meat inside. Now, I see you do have crab legs. I do. There's been some uh, crab leg shortages at some of the buffets yeah. in Las Vegas, but they definitely have them here at the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars Palace. Yeah. So, have at them. Yeah, they have steamed and chilled. I got some from the steamed section, and the server asked if I wanted three or five. I said four, he gave me five. What? You said four? I don't know why. And he said three or five. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't, don't ask. Okay. I don't ask. But, oh, you know what? He did give us some of these. They're, they're like pre-cut, but he gave us some of these to yeah. facilitate the cracking of shells. Yeah, this is one of the reasons I stay away from crab. Yeah, it's crab legs are a lot more of work. Difficult. Yeah, a lot of work. Okay, here's a nice piece here. Okay. No butter first. Okay. Nice and warm. A little sweet. These are really good. 
And I've got my five ground leg seeds. And there's a little bit of meat here. And I just put dip in a little bit of the clarified butter. Mm. You know? Perfect. The butter is like so kind of rich. I don't know if it needs it. So just wanna... It definitely doesn't need it with the prawns. No, the prawns don't need it for sure. very flavorful. Got yeah. a Cajun spice rub on it. Yeah. It's really good yeah. just as is. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to try the barbecue oyster. Oh, yeah. Kind of it's a little bit stuck. There we go. Okay, so here we go. like a barbecue sauce on it but it's not really super strong and the oyster is a little bit sweet that's good there's a lot more here to eat than that. yes you've got some octopus mm -hmm. you have the prawns like i had and mm -hmm. you have some whelks yeah these are these are whelks not like lawrence whelks <laughs> or whelks with a w-h-e-l-k right i I don't recall these on the menu or here before. They've been here. I had them a couple years ago and I didn't know how to eat them and I tried to crack them with one of these. And let me just tell you, <laughs> that's not how you eat them. No. Well, I've never had this. I think you just pull it out. Yeah. Like you're pulling out escargot. Or something. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Oops. Oops. Oh, that was something. Okay. I've never had this before. Oh, God. This is a... Um, Challenge? Okay. Ew, that looks weird. That looks very weird. You can see this like this I'm is not like the. Sure that looks appetizing. This is like the, the part that attached to the shell. I'm just gonna. This is really something people eat. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, my first time trying a whelk. All right, go for it. Here we go. Hmm. It reminds me of a mussel. Like as the muscle has that like yeah. thick chewy band around it. That is interesting. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You've got uh, this oh, is yes. a baby octopus. Yeah, this is the turmeric octopus. Maybe I'll let you try that while I go okay. try to get line for some meat. Okay, you can go the meat line, get him lying now. These are really, these are really big prawns considering the size that they are and it's cooked. All right, let's see. Okay, I'm almost there. All right. Thank you. Mm. I'm really happy with them. That's good too. Thank you. All right, I am back with my plate of meats. And this is the Wagyu Steamship. And these are the St. Louis ribs. These are the beef ribs from the brisket. And this is the brisket itself. And that's not all. I got some mashed potatoes, but I also got a Wagyu hot dog. That's what they used to have on the little steam carts that they push around here. Now you can just pick one up yourself. And I've got chicken and waffles. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, these are one of my favorite things the last time we were here. Super meaty, super char. Love it. Great. Mm -hmm. I have some St. Louis ribs too. I think these might be, I'm not sure if these are pork or beef. They look like pork. Yeah. Oh, that's good sauce. These were also some of my favorites last time we were here. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, let's get into this Wagyu Steamship. I also remember liking this the last time. 
Get it as Wagyu. It's very tender, but honestly, I would just rather have the brisket and the ribs. All right, well, Catherine is now going to get her second round of food, and I am going to try my chicken and waffles and Wagyu hot dog. Again, two of my favorites from when we've been here before, and that's kind of what I'm doing here today. I'm trying all the things that I know I loved before. Now, let's try this Wagyu hot dog, as you can see. Got all the, the Japanese toppings like ginger and seaweed. I think like some cutie mayo on there. Mm. Mm. I love that. I love that hot dog. It's like having sushi with a hot dog in it. Sounds good to me. Now let's try it. I lost one of my chickens. All right, I still have one chicken here. And one waffle. And the chicken. Well, it's got like it's got honey dripping on it, dripping from it. Let's try it all together, all, all the different components. Oh, it's a little spicy actually. Here comes Catherine with some more food. It looks yes. like you've got a plate of meat. I've got a plate of meat, wow. a very large plate of meat. I even got the tri-tip. Did you get the tri-tip? No, I didn't get the tri-tip. Okay, okay. Got, I have plates of meat, essentially. What's this one? What's this one? Is that like a lamb chop? This is the wood-grilled lamb, that lamb chop that I didn't get before, and this is the bone marrow. This is the oh, bone marrow. the bone marrow. Mm -hmm. right. The bone marrow. And this is just creamy horseradish I got on the side for all my meats. Yes. That's a lot of meat. <laughs> that is a lot of meat. That's a lot of meat. It's like amazing. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. It smells great too. Yeah. Do not miss it. Do not miss these things. Oh my goodness. Mm. The meat just falls right off the bone. I'm gonna do like a of the flint stuff where you take a, put the whole one in and pour it out. All the meat comes off. Mm. Mm. Oh, we can eat Vegas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, Vegas. Oh my God. We love your channel, man. Oh, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Wow, that was funny. Yeah. Mm. It's always super nice when that happens. My goodness. Yeah. No, this is really good. I forgot to tell you. This is really good. The gremolata and the pickled onions really work and kind of cut the fattiness of the marrow. Mm. Cool. And mm. then this is lamb. Lamb. A lot of people love lamb. I'm not a particularly big fan of lamb, and nor are you really. I, I'm not either, but, but I wanted maybe to try more it. Than me. Maybe more than me. I wanted to try it. Well, that does look pretty good. It has a bit of a pinkness in there. Yeah. Looks all right. Yeah. Oh, look like it was like served with like a potato. Like a, like a smashed potato. Oh, right. Let's give this a try. That's good. That's really good. Is it lamby? Surprisingly, not as lamby <laughs> okay. as other things I've had. Yeah, oh, that's my main my main uh, complaint about lamb. Is it lamb. too lamby? 
This is the least lamby lamb chop I've had. Wow. It's quite good. Quite Great. good. Okay, so while Catherine is enjoying her meat, I'm going to check out what's going on down here in the Asian section. There's Korean chicken and Calbee short ribs. I even see some japchae over here. This is the Korean glass noodles. Oh, and the dim sum baskets. Now these are some of my favorite things here. Let's see what they got today. Looks like shumai and oh, shrimp hargao. I like those. We got soy sauce chicken, char shu, carb roast duck, egg rolls and crab rangoon, beef and broccoli, bang bang shrimp, Szechuan fish, and some, some greens, Guy lamb. They even have fresh made soups made to order here. Udon, ramen, pho, miso soup, egg flour soup, and congee. It's all assembled right back here to order. Oh yeah, and there's even some, some lechon baboy. This is a Filipino pork. Wow, look at that. I think I see a pig head. And there's some barbecue pork skewers, chicken adobo, lechon kalali. Yeah, there's... There's the pig. <laughs> if you're not a meat eater, well, you probably don't want to be here at the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesar's Salads, but they do have salads, greens and grains. You've got a hearts of palm roll, which is labeled vegan. I've had it, it's pretty good. Tomato and basil tartare. Some coconut carrot gazpacho. And bread. And they've got pizza. This is the mortadella pizza, the pepperoni pizza, truffle mushroom pizza, spicy sausage, that looks pretty good. Oh, and they've got meatballs. Meatballs, grandma's meatballs, is what they call them here. And there's the pizza oven right back there where they're making the pizza. And this is the Mexican food area where they've got the Mexican street corn made to order. Classic elote, takis, flaming hot, roasted garlic and cilantro. Oh, and they've got birria, birria. That's what I gotta try. Some ceviche. Oh, and there's actually some meat over here. This is like, uh, Turkey, duck wings, and rotisserie chicken. Oh, so there's two. There's two carving stations. Awesome, great. Can I try some of this uh, uh, ham? They got honey glazed ham, and then they have the wagyu steam chip, the smoked brisket, and the prime rib over here. And, what else and, and do you have some prime prime rib that's a little more well done and not so red? Do you like egg cups? Yeah, that looks great. Yeah. Great, thank you. All right. It's still pretty red. It's like as red as that. It's a ham. These mashed potatoes are good. I think I gotta get some more of those. It's always good with meats. I gotta get some more of these because I love these. These Saint Louis ribs. Alright, I made it back with my plate of meat. I didn't even get all the way to the seafood yet. I, I do want to get some more of those prawns, but there's a second meat station, so there's, there's plenty of meat to eat. And I've got some more St. Louis ribs, and I tried the ham as well as the prime rib. It's like the little end part of the prime rib, so we'll see. If it's a little more cooked and less rare, that's going to be good for me, but... Ooh, it's quite tender. And it has that great char on the end piece there. Mm. That's really good. I mean, I love
love that char. I like that. That's why I like my meat well done. My burgers. <laughs> You know, not rare, medium rare. Anything that's nicely charred, that's what tastes good to me. Yes. Honey glazed ham. All right, well, you've got two new plates. <laughs> two new plates what do you here. Have here. Okay, I went to the Asian section, Asian side. So I have here the various poke bowls. They have, let's see if I can remember which one's which. This was, I believe, salmon. This was ahi tuna. This was um. So this was this was tuna. I think it was called the rainbow roll because there's multiple types of fish oh, in I here. See, yes. And this was taco or um, octopus. Oh yeah. And this is an uni. Um, not uni. This is an eel roll. Yeah, unagi. Unagi. Excuse me. This is unagi. My favorite sushi. Yeah. And then over here we have some Filipino things, a variety of things. We have some Filipino chicken adobo. Barbecue pork skewers, also Filipino. Korean galbi uh, meat. Um, Chinese um, oik, clams, Chinese clams. Beef and broccoli, bang bang shrimp, Szechuan fish. But the highlight, definitely thank you. thank you. The highlight that I do not recall seeing the previous visits here was lechon, which is Filipino roasted pork. And not only did they have lechon, they had two types of it. They had lechon baboy, which is the roasted suckling pig which is right here it is often served with a traditional brown sauce which i'm very glad that they had here they also have lechon kawali which is roasted suckling pig but it's also fried you can see the difference oh, in the colors yeah so we have lechon kawali and lechon baboy and the clincher is that they have like a vinegary fish sauce to serve with this because these are also fatty you often want something vinegary and tart to cut through the fat. So let's try this piece here. This is a smaller piece. I'm gonna dip it into the vinegary sauce here. And the sauce has like Thai chili, red onion. Mm. Mm. It's delicious. Okay, second plate of food. These are Filipino pork barbecue skewers. I didn't try these. Were these there before? Were these here before? I don't remember if they were there. Uh, but they definitely seem to have more Filipino food now. Definitely, which is really cool to see. I'm, I'm excited. I don't want to call seeing these, so I'm going to try it here. And I love these. Mm. Mm. Really nice glaze. The thing is, with the Filipino barbecue, like pork skewers, they're marinated for a really long time. So that flavor really seeps into the pork. This is more of just like barbecue skewers with the glaze on top, which is, it's a buffet. They have to work quickly, I get it. But the glaze is really good. This is really, really good. All right, the ever popular desserts here at the Bacchanal Buffet. They got all sorts of cheesecake and tiramisu, salted caramel mousse. Some cupcakes, yeah, starting to run out of the cupcakes. Very busy here tonight. Oh, see, I think we cupcakes. And you, you've got a crepe station where you can make your own crepe. Well, they'll make it for you. You just pick your sauce. You want chocolate, caramel, raspberry, Nutella. And then pick your toppings, mixed berry, bananas, foster and whipped cream. There's also creme brulee, strawberry shortcake, apples, dessert cones, the sunny side up egg, mint Oreo chocolate mousse, Rainbow cake, banana cream pie, pineapple upside down cake, caramel creme brulee, and vegan strawberry cake. Attention vegans. Lots of gelato over here too. Also, always some of the best stuff on a Las Vegas buffet. Vanilla bean, cookies and cream, strawberry, espresso, goes on and on. 
Quite the line, actually. This is the line is for the it's for the gelato. People love gelato. Oh look, they're actually flame baked. There's a flambe in the, the creme brulee right back there. Cooked, definitely cooked right here in the center of the Bacchanal buffet. Your creme brulees. Early fired to a crackling sugar crust. Impressive. All right, these are the desserts I got, and I, I got two creme brulees fresh off the, the blow torch. I also got this cheesecake, berry cheesecake, and I got the mango rice pudding, the strawberry shortcake, some banana cream pie, and caramel budino mousse. mousse. Caramel mousse. Oh, yeah, it does have a does have a little crackle there. Right. Mm. Oh, that's the best. The custardy part. It's like having vanilla bean specks in it. Oh. Oh yeah, the sugar crust, the vanilla beans, the smooth custard, this is like the perfect creme brulee. Uh, glad I got two. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh yeah. I don't know how the rest of this is going to compare to that, but this one's kind of cute. Said it was like a strawberry shortcake. I don't know exactly if there's a cake in here. What? It was like strawberry mousse, maybe? Let's see, there's definitely fresh strawberries right there on top. And a little flower. Oh, that's good. It's, it's like a strawberry mousse. Can I eat the flour? I guess. Mmm. Oh, this is very good too. Mmm. I don't know if there's baked at the bottom, but. Mmm. Whatever this is, this is delicious. It's super strawberry. I need the boost. Mm. Mm. How about the banana cream pie? A little slice of banana on there on the whipped cream. banana. That's good. Those are all delicious. And how about the, the caramel mousse? Some little candy beads on top. Delicious, delicious caramel. as the other desserts, or maybe they're just extra sweet. Still pretty good. If you like rice for dessert. Mm. 
and cheesecake. Oh, it's really good. Again, not too sweet. We got perfect cheesecake. These have all been great, and the only dessert I have left is my second creme brulee. These portions are all perfectly small size so you can eat a lot of different desserts or just get more of the ones that you really, really like. <laughs> See if that crust is still crackling. Yep, pretty good. Yep. This is my favorite. <laughs> Those look incredible. So <laughs> what did you get? Okay, this is my first dessert round. We have salted caramel mousse, tiramisu, green tea, and lime, I believe. Like right, a sorbet of sorts. Um, ube chiffon cake, yuzu lemon tart, berry cheesecake. This is a mango rice pudding, and the Vien Vietnamese coffee creme. Trying to get a big bite out of this. It's a small portion, but it has such a rich flavor. Really satisfying. And I'm back He's with back. some prawns. Wow. Those. You really like these. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're the scariest thing I've, I've eaten here on the Bacchanal buffet, that's for sure. <laughs> these things, these, you can't, you can't say these aren't scary looking. These are just some of the scariest looking food I've ever eaten. Definitely here on the Bacchanal. Here's what I got. <laughs> Out of all this, I got this. Still, it's delicious. All right, well, it wouldn't be the Bacchanal Buffet if we didn't follow our dessert with more meats. <laughs> more meats. What do you have here? Okay, we've got some beef birria. And the Italian section here, we've got some cheese tortellini, which I've never tried here. This is a truffle mushroom pizza. I figured that we get one slice. And these are grandma's meatballs in a marinara. Oh, yeah. And over here is elote from the elote station. Well, they'll make it for you um, to order, which is cool. And finally, there are three drinks that are available in the Mexican station. We have horchata, jamaica, agua fresca, or like hibiscus tea, and this is pineapple. Nice. Okay, let's try this beef bidia. I remember I really liked it here before. It was really soft. There is some consomme too. Wow. That's a long braid. It looks super tender. That's super tender, so flavorful. It's not spicy hot. It has a good, it's hot. Yeah, it looks like it might be spicy. No, it's not spicy though. It has just very good flavor. You can tell this has been cooking for a while because it texturally, 
so soft. Okay. Let me try this. Next, I'm sorry. Truffle mushroom pizza. I actually, I don't think I tried the pizza here before. I did. It's, it's just okay. I prefer a thinner cut. It's quite mm -hmm. thick. It's like a Roman style pizza. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh. The chili flakes are on there. Give it some care. Don't really get truffle. I get the mushroom though. But the woo. I definitely get the red chili, red pepper flakes. Let's try this tortellini. Very satisfying. Mm. The green sauce is really tasty too. Not too much cheese inside though. Okay, finally, let's try this. Grandma's meatball. See the inside? It's nicely cooked. Mm. Nice, well seasoned. Finally, let's try this. This is the classic elote. Again, you can get this here made to order. They have takis, they have flaming hot Cheetos, and roasted garlic and cilantro. If you like the loke, all the flavors are here. The crema, ooh, it's so good. The cotilla cheese, love it. St. Louis ribs. I didn't get before. Right. Because it's a buffet. That's right. <laughs> it's a buffet. You can get as much as you want. <laughs> this is my second and final dessert round here at the Bacchanal. And you raved about the creme brulee here. Yes. So I'm going to try oh, yeah, this. Give it a try. Yeah. It's, it's like fresh. I don't know. Do you have the crackly crust like I have? No, it's been sitting a bit. Yeah. I grabbed the ones that literally she just put out after mm. firing them with a the blowtorch. Oh, you're lucky. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Mm. Okay. It's got that crunchy sugar texture. I can still, yeah, it's still taste a little it. Crunchy, isn't it. Yeah, still a little crunchy. That's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. That is really good. Yeah. Love it. Love a creme brulee. Yeah. It almost seems more caramelly, too. Yeah. Mm. All right. And next I'm gonna try, this is so cute. This is the sunny side of egg, which is sweetened yogurt, mango, and there's vanilla bean powder in the sweetened yogurt as well. I just love that presentation. It's like a little orb. Mm. Love it, that's so good, the mango, that mango egg yolk is yummy. Mm. Strawberry shortcake in a cute little pile, pale here. Yeah. I think it's a dar darling. This is a, for all the sizes of desserts. This is a pretty big dessert. It is. Yeah, it's one of the larger ones it's offered. Got big here. pieces of actual strawberry. Yeah, as well. really big pieces of strawberry. Mm. Mm. I love that strawberry mousse. Mm. Yeah, I couldn't find any actual shortcake in there. Yeah, I don't see any shortcake either, yeah. but it tastes delicious. Yeah. You got a whole crepe here. I know, I know. So what did you get? I, did you, is there any filling? No, no. Okay. I just got Nutella on top and Nutella syrup on top and just put some whipped cream on the side. So you can get like mixed berries or bananas, caramel. Yeah. You can knock yourself out. Yeah. It. I decided just to go classic. I did right. Nutella crepe. And that made fresh to order. Yep. Okay. Let's see, let's try this right here. With the Nutella. A little bit of whipped cream. Yeah. Yeah. So good. This is a good way to end the night. Yep. 
nice classic dessert like this. Or this, or this, or this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I got some horchata to, to finish off this, this grand eating experience here at the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars Palace. They've got seafood, they've got meat, they've got Chinese food, Mexican food, Italian food, and dessert. And this is really the ultimate all-you-can-eat experience. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars Palace. And be sure to subscribe for more because there's always more to eat. But it's all you can Vegas.